What is up you guys? In this one, I'll show you how I use YouTube as a Python OG. <laughs> But before we do so, and since my channel includes some finance and stock market trading algorithms, I just want to bring your attention to investing in fine art, which is you buy a piece of valuable art, hold on to it, and then possibly resell it in the long term. With equities trading at their highest value since the dot-com boom of 2000, and inflation not appearing to be a passing fad, professional investors are seeking for methods to beat the market or hedge against inflation. And when I say professional, I'm referring to people like Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager. Perfect. And not long ago, he referred to this asset class as the world's greatest store of wealth today. Masterworks is a must-see if you want to understand what Larry is talking about. They give you access to an asset class that outperformed the S&P 500 by 174% from 1995 to 2020, nearly tripled the appreciation of real estate, gold, and 90% of cryptocurrencies during the same period, and has the lowest correlation to the stock market of any major asset class, and has been shown to outperform during times of inflation, according to Citibank. Well, in case you didn't know celebrities like Beyonce and Jay-Z have invested and held onto fine art not just that but this market has risen by over 2700 percent in the previous 20 years and shows no indications of slowing down the asset class in question is contemporary art which the Wall Street Journal recently described as one of the hottest markets on the planet according to their findings the forthcoming auction season is expected to sell at least 1.6 billion dollars in art including items that might get 15 times their asking prices. So why aren't more people investing? Well, it takes millions of dollars to buy a Picasso, right? So contemporary art has been accessible to only the global elites until now. I'm excited to share with our community and give you priority access to our sponsor, Masterworks. Masterworks uses over 60,000 data points to find financially attractive works of art, buy them, and let you invest in shares representing an investment in that painting. The results? Well, in 2020, they returned 32% to investors and in 2021 they returned 31 percent from the sale of two paintings one being a banksy with results like that it's no wonder over 325,000 people have signed up which is enormous let me demonstrate how it works i think this basquiat artwork will value significantly so i've invested a small percentage of my portfolio in that artwork and i can either wait for it to sell or if i need the money sooner i can sell my shares on the secondary market to someone else now there is a wait list if you want to take advantage and invest in some excellent art however you could choose to skip the waitlist and begin investing right now by clicking the link in the description it also greatly benefits the channel so go have a look the link is http colon forward slash forward slash masterworks.art forward slash batsy that's http colon forward slash forward slash masterworks.art forward slash Batsy. Happy investing in fine art. Right, so now let's take a look on how I use YouTube as a Python OG. Perfect. So first thing we'd want to do before, you know, using YouTube as a Python OG is install a very powerful Python module called PyTube. And here's the GitHub account. As you can see, it's very popular. You can see that it's a very serious, lightweight, dependency-free Python library. Not only downloading YouTube videos, I'm going to show you how to perform searches, whether it's a channel search or a playlist search, or even download captions, not only the videos, but also the captions, which is super powerful. Let's say you're interested in videos that have certain, you know, keywords. You can do this off of PyTube. So First thing we'd want to do is install this beautiful package, PyTube, for Python OG purposes. Perfect. <laughs> so here it's downloading. Uh, give it a moment to download. Once done, we'd want to import it. And next, what I want to do is, let's say I'm interested in getting, you know, properties about any video I want. So if I go to YouTube, so let's say, you know, I'm interested in this video. which contains those captions, as you can see. So first thing, I'm going to copy the link and, you know, just paste it here. And let's first display it using IPython. So, so just display it in front of us uh, to see if we're getting the job done properly. So from IPython.display, um, import, I think it's YouTube video, exactly. And now 
I'll open YouTube video. I'll paste in the, I think we call this an ID. So we'll paste the ID, we'll pass it the, so if I do this, for example, here's the video. By the way, I should change this over here. I, I don't like this uh, watermark. Uh, you can also adjust the width, let's say 800 and the height. as such so this is the video that we've got actually let me give it a bigger width there you go so right here i can run the captions i have the title the description it doesn't show over here we have to hop on to youtube um, but so let's say i want to extract all those information about this video well, how do i get the job done it's very simple um so using our pytube package um on Python, I'll run, I don't know, YouTube as such, okay? And pass it the link of the video, which is this link over here. Once done, uh, YouTube is not defined. Ah, because, okay, so from PyTube, I'd want to import YouTube as such. Run this, then run this, and there you go. So YT is the YouTube object, right? which contains all the information I need. So for example, if I want to print the title of the video, I can do so using yt.title as such. So this is the title over here, Notion trailer on Pluto. There you go. Well, let's say I also want to print, I don't know, the number of views of the video. I can do so using yt.views as such. Currently the video is on 97,347 views. Um, we can also get the length of the video that is from yt dot length and I think it's in seconds if I'm not mistaken yeah this guy is 19 sec well 20 round up okay and one more thing which is super important we can actually print out the description of the video which is all this if I go back to YouTube and I look down here, as you can see, this is the description. Okay, that's the most basic information about the video, but let's say, you know, you want to figure out all the streams of this YouTube video on Python. So as an OG, um, we can, you know, yt.streams gives you all the streams in a, an array. Um, to have a proper printing, let's do for stream in yt.streams, um, print my stream. There you go with the i tags and the resolution, uh, the frame per second, the codex, and so forth. Let's say you want, I don't know, the, the streams with the highest um, resolution. There you go. And let's say you want to download this video locally. Well, it's very simple. All you have to do is run a dot download as such. Give it some time done um, on Google Collab it's over here so if you want to download it off of Google Collab just click this button right here this download right here right so if you do this here it's downloaded locally I actually like this video <laughs> um, I have a thing for aliens by the way <laughs> okay um, so next thing, other than downloading, what is what I find super useful about this PyTube is that you could extract the captions of that video, which is super important. So let's say you've got multiple captions. Well, over here, I've got the English ones. Um, well, for you could choose to get by language, for example. In this case, we only got English. So you could do something like this, right? And then you will have to, let's say, print caption. There you go, nothing. You have to tell it um, in which format you want it. I think it's XML, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, there you go. So here's the time stamps. So from zero to two seconds, I run, I use Notion. What about you? So um, from zero, one, then it changes, then it changes to subscribe to the channel. I come in peace as you see in this XML 
text okay um, well let's say I want to check out another video I don't know I click my video I bet your test plan is ad. outdated learn how to keep your testing modern and join me for a ver right so so this video is I, uh, right so one of my videos on Mark Wood's portfolio optimization problem um, we're going to define a PI contains multiple captions so we've got Arabic Bangla Chinese Filipino French Hebrew um, what else English and so if I want to you know get those captions well let me go back down here right run this I've got the YT object and I only care about this so let me remove the get language first and print the caption as you can see there's multiple captions so if I loop over all the captions we've got all the languages I just mentioned um, let's say you're interested in one of those languages. I don't know. Let's say Arabic. Um, well, the code is AR, so I'll do get by language AR as such, right? And then I print those captions as such. And there you could see the captions in Arabic, which is pretty cool, right? Okay, so now let me show you something else. Let's say you're interested in, I don't know, playlists right um you've got some playlists well so this is a convex optimization, optimization so playlist i'll copy paste the link of the playlist which is up here it contains the parameter list and i'll paste it right here for the moment and right here what i want to show you is that from pytube you can actually import something that is called playlist as simple as that and then you get the playlist as playlist and pass it the link as such well, once that's done, you run. And if you want to take a look at playlist, at the YouTube playlist, as you can see, it's an array containing all the links of the videos within the playlist. So let's first check the length of this playlist. It's 24. Indeed, I've got 24 convex optimization videos in this playlist. And if I want to loop over them uh, for URL and playlist, print my URL. Why am I talking about playlists is that each URL is a video and, and thus you can repeat the entire process that we did. You can get the title, you can get the name, you can get the description, the captions and all these good stuff. So PyTube actually saves you a lot of time in doing so. So this is how you really work with playlists. Let's say you want to work with, I don't know, channels. You can import the channel that you care about so the question here is what stuff could you do with a channel? Well, uh, for the channel, you'd have to, um, let's say we go back to YouTube, go to my, what is up you guys? Yeah. I'm Ahmad and right. We go to my channel, right? And we paste it right here. Let's see if it takes it. It take it indeed it did. And there you go. It returns all the videos within my channel. So, Currently, I think I've got 145 public videos. Let's check. Exactly, I do. So you can go ahead and print all the URLs in the channel and repeat the same process. So you can get the captions, you can download the videos, you can get the titles, keywords, see what what are the most keywords I use or stuff like that. Um, one last feature I'd, I'd like to show you is the search feature by PyTube. Um, you can actually perform YouTube searches off of this Python library and it's very simple. So what I mean by a search is that when you go to the, you know, to the search bar on YouTube and you enter, like for example, a search term, you get the results of that search, right? So that's what I'm going to show you right now. Um, well, let's do this. Okay. It's very simple. It's very simple. All you have to do is call the search object and pass it the search you want. So let's say you're searching my name and you'd want to save it in a variable. Okay. Let's see the length of the search. I think it returns something around 10 to 20 um, results. Yeah, 17 results. Um, let's say I want to print them all for result in s dot results print result and i think it's a yeah it returns the video id so you'd have to extract this part um 
So you return the video ID, right? This is a video ID. You can also print next to it the views. For example, you can do something like result dot video or views as such, if I'm not mistaken. And you get the views of each of this video. So you can, you know, you can do some interesting plots, like you can plot the number of views for some certain keyword searches. Let's say I'm searching Bitcoin, for example. Bitcoin, get 20, and there you go. You get those number of views for those particular video IDs on YouTube. So that's it for this video. That's all the basic and advanced stuff you need to know to use PyTube with its full functionality. In case you found this video beneficial, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.